An estimated one out of 300 youth has an undetected, potentially life-threatening heart condition. And today we want to help save kids' lives by helping them get a free heart screening. Our Heather Crawford is joining us live from the Flex Field next to Everbank Stadium. And Heather, students can get a free EKG right now. <laughs> completely free Anthony and that is the mission is to save children's lives. You still have time to come down until seven o'clock tonight. Anyone, any student between the age of 10 and 22 can come here to the flex field and get a simple, quick and easy heart screening. So far we've had about 400 students from all across the first coast get screened today. The gates stay open until seven o'clock. And tonight, the Baker County High School principal and his family are opening up about his son surviving sudden cardiac arrest at school. My name is Johnny Ryan Jacobs, and I'm a sudden cardiac arrest survivor. Ryan Jacobs looked like the picture of health in January 2021. If you looked at him, you would think he was in phenomenal physical condition. Athletic and avid swimmer since the age of 10, it was his first day of tennis practice at Baker County High School when the then 17 year old almost died. My husband called and said Ryan had collapsed on the tennis courts and to get to the high school as soon as possible. I was very close. There's not much um, no, I remember about that day. It's mostly just a blur. For his coach, Steve Delisle, it's a day he'll never forget. That day, the uh, National Federation of High Schools requires us to do video training on sudden cardiac arrest, heat stroke, and concussion. And that day we had just completed those three trainings before we went out to the tennis courts. It's something he had trained for for years, but this would be the first time he'd have to use it. Ryan just looked a little out of it. I stayed close because he just didn't look right. The next thing I know, I'm standing there talking to him and a couple of the other players, and he kind of falls against the fence, and then he just starts to slump, and I caught him. He immediately started CPR, which saved Ryan's life. I don't know, everybody wants to say, you were a hero, you did this, you did that, and it was like, you know, I just did what I felt like I was trained to do. Johnny Jacobs, the principal of Baker County High, and his wife Heather rushed to their son's side. He was in the ambulance. And um, that's when the paramedics said that it was not good. His heart was not beating. Ryan suffered a sudden cardiac arrest on the tennis courts, something nine out of 10 people don't survive. He was life flighted to Wolfson Children's Hospital. Landing at Wolfson's, he went to sudden cardiac arrest again. And that's not all. During the whole ordeal, he also suffered a stroke. For him to survive and him to be doing as great as he is now, it's nothing short of miraculous. Um, there's divine intervention there. Ryan was diagnosed with a genetic heart condition known as ARVC, a condition that Jacobs say an electrocardiogram could have helped detect. It could have picked up his irregular heartbeats. One of his brothers has since been diagnosed with the same heart condition. The more you know, the more educated you can be, the more you can be prepared. I never thought I would be in this position, and I just, I'm grateful that my son is alive. Now 21, Ryan can't do a lot of the physical activities he once loved to do because of his heart condition. But he says he's just grateful to be alive. What do you want people to take away from your story? Just want people to know that you know, it can happen to all ages, from 80 years old to two. It's, it can happen to anyone at any time. It happened. He wasn't under a tremendous amount of stress. He wasn't swimming laps in the pool. He was just batting a tennis ball back and forth and getting used to using a racket. And then he was down. If there's anything that someone can do to avoid things like that, why would you not? Why would you not come and get a free heart screening tonight? Ryan and his mom have been here today volunteering for one reason, to help save lives and to raise awareness. And I want to point out, as you heard Ryan say, it doesn't just impact athletes. Sudden cardiac arrest can happen to anyone. So this heart screening event, the Who We Play For heart screening event, is going to go on until 7 o'clock tonight. You can come down here to Everbank Stadium, park for free in Lot J, come in Gate 1. The gates will close at 7 o'clock. You don't have to register. Just come down, show up, and your child 
between the age of 10 to 22 can get a free heart screening. And if you can't make it down here in time tonight, contact who we play for. Go to their website, who we play for.org to schedule them to come to your child's school, to your community event and bring one of these heart screenings to help save lives. That is what it is all about here. Live at the Flex Field at Everbank Stadium. I'm, I'm Heather Crawford, First Coast News.